exporting your transactions, accounts, categories, and investments from Quicken to iBank is fast and simple. First, launch Quicken. You may already know that Quicken Essentials for Mac can't export data in a compatible format. So if you're using Essentials, you'll need to do this from a different version of Quicken. Next, you'll export your Quicken data by going to the File menu and selecting Export to QIF. QIF is a common file format used by iBank, as well as Quicken. Keep in mind that we're looking at Quicken on a Mac. You can also export data from PC versions of Quicken, but each edition of Quicken is different. If you can't find the Export command, refer to the Quicken manual for your version. In the window that appears, name the export file and select a location to save it. You can save this anywhere on your hard drive, but most users select desktop. If you're moving data from a different computer, you want to make sure the resulting QIF file is available by transferring it to the Mac running iBank. You might do this wirelessly or with a small flash drive. Next, launch iBank 4 if it's not already open. If you are new to iBank, you'll be given a welcome screen and the opportunity to create a new iBank document. Use the drop-down menu to select Import from Quicken for Mac or Import from Quicken for Windows, depending on your version. Then drag your QIF file to the empty box. If you prefer, you can also navigate to it by clicking Choose File. Click Next. Now you can choose a save location. Click Next, name your document, and select a location to save it. Choose the default currency for your data, then click Next one more time. Your data will automatically configure. Now iBank will ask you to verify the types of accounts it detected in the QIF file. Use the drop-down menus to choose the type of each account that is being imported. Click Next. That's it. Now you're ready to use iBank 4. For additional help with this topic, see the iBank user manual under Creating a Document.